Hey guys, so if you like my content and want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you really do want to give me some ideas, feel free to comment below. Do all that good stuff, and without further ado, let's get into today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to make floating islands. And it's kind of similar to the uh, custom terrain and all that stuff, but there's a little tips and tricks in here, so I'll show you guys what you need. First thing I would recommend, though, is getting the nature rock gallery and the tropical rock gallery those two galleries as you can see I'll put them right here they're very helpful when doing this so the main platform for an island is going to be this rock out of the first preset that I said and this one is really good because you're able to grow it to maximum size and then if you push it away a little bit, you can then turn the rotation sideways and turn it all the way upside down. And you can actually see it makes like a really, uh, really good rotation. It takes a little bit of like practicing to get it perfectly flat, but once you get it, it's almost impossible to undo. That was a bad example though, so I'm going to grab another rock, grow it to maximum size paste it just so I can like fix whatever I do wrong so I'm gonna do it like this this is gonna be a lot easier yep there we go alright so a good thing to do with this is just bring it over somewhere and this really depends on how big you want your floating island so a lot of people want it to be a bit more big or a lot of people want it to be a bit more small like this like this could literally be big enough for you and the bottom, obviously, we're going to do in a minute. Or you could even leave it like this. I mean, this does not look that bad. But an easy way to do it is kind of like the custom terrain. If you just use the rotate tool, you can use it to rotate and do this kind of thing with the A and D and all the other buttons that I showed in the previous tutorial. Along with just going side to side and everything. It's pretty self-explanatory, really. But it's super nice, really convenient. If you just move it down a little bit, sometimes it takes a second, but with a little bit of practice, a little bit of time, there you go. You got some flat terrain right there. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this with only one, but you guys can do this as much as you want. And another way you can make this longer if you need is just doing something like this. And you can obviously paste it like in the middle there do really whatever you need it's pretty crazy what you can do with this stuff but you can do whatever you end up needing there right now I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to make one though so f over here actually I'll be back in a second okay guys so over here I would recommend taking this rock right here again growing it to full size going over to rotate um, I personally find roll a really good one just for turning stuff upside down, but it's completely up to you. Copying this, bringing it over here. And now you can really just go crazy. Like, you can literally just start going crazy. Like, some, for some things you can do this type of stuff, where you just literally spam the crap out of it. Where other things, you need to be a bit more precise. It really depends on the type of look that you're going for. The main thing I want to do right now, though, is cover up that bottom part, because it's not too pretty. This already looks pretty solid, not even going to lie. If we push that in a little bit, we can get a really nice design right there to cover off that, as you can see there. And not even 3,000 storage used with the presets, and this already looks not that bad. Moving it up a little bit, you can get really any look that you like. And there is a small problem with doing this type of thing, but I can show you how to fix it in just a minute. Do keep in mind, though, if you want to rotate anything, you have to change it from the roll back to yaw. The rotation type back to yaw. So I'm going to time lapse this just for a second, and you guys can see a final product. So this honestly looks good by itself. And you can obviously do whatever you want. Use any of those type of rocks. 
it's really all up to your imagination. There is one problem that I've realized is that you can't build on these, but there's a very easy way to fix that. If you actually go over to galleries and then go to terrain, you can go onto the grass and floor dirt gallery. If you open it up, you can get the grass platform thing. And this is going to involve a little bit more complicated, so try to stick with me. If you pull up your, your phone and you can click B for options, or I believe it's on the D-pad for controller, you can go anywhere throughout this. But anywhere, anyways, right here, there's a build to prop option. On this build to prop option, if you turn that on, it allows you to move anything where you want it, so it won't have a grid snap, even if you have a grid snap on. Once you've done that, you want to pull out this thing and you realize you can move it freely. It's not like really weird like this. You can move it completely free. So I would recommend shrinking this. Or you can grow it really. It really depends on the size of your rock. Personally, I'm going to grow it. Just to a certain size to where I like it. So we'll see here. It's about a good size I think. That's a good, ooh that might be a bit big actually. So I'm going to move it even a little bit more down, and that's good. Alright, so if you turn on phasing, you can just put them inside the rock right here. You put them all over the place. I've put about three, four, five, maybe six. And you can see they don't stick out at all. And sometimes you might find stuff like this as well, just patch it up, it's not that hard. But, as you can see, nothing changed at all, but... Now, we are able to build on here. And obviously you can't build in spots like this, you just need to put grass under here then. Maybe put it in a smaller area, such as right here. And now we can build right here. And once you've added all that grass stuff, you're really able to build anywhere you want. And if you see any spots where you're not able to build, just put a small one underneath it, like if you need it right here. Make it small enough to fit under this, and then you can build in all these spots over here. But you can see now, the builds are blue, meaning I'm able to build. Another way that is easy, if this isn't satisfying for you, then you can always go over to the nature, galleries, grab some trees, grab a bunch of other stuff, and you can really customize this however you'd like. So, for example, I'm going to just take some vines. I would recommend these vi middle vines if you pick this exact preset because they're easy and you can see them from far away. As you can see right here, they disappear except for that middle row. So another thing you can do is just use the vines really and you can decorate the rocks like that. It's not a lot, but it does add that little bit of texture that a lot of people are looking for. Another thing you can do is just add a bush and maybe some trees on the top so you can get a tree or two. Go to the very top. Really, it's all up to your imagination. I'm just here to give you some tips and tricks. You can really do whatever you lo like with this. A lot of times I actually use bushes for grass. But some people might just want to take this completely out and actually use it as a bush. But again, it's completely up to you. And if you guys did like this tutorial, please make sure to like and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.